What is going on, YouTube family? Games and Kicks here. I got a little Nintendo Switch haul. Uh, so you guys saw my thing in my previous video. I had, or two videos ago, I bought myself a Nintendo Switch and Mario Odyssey. And I beat the Odyssey game, of course, knowing that. And I was like, it's time to get some new games. What should I get? What should I do? Blah, blah, blah. So here I have a few things I picked up. I did break the packaging on this because I use it already. Getting the test. I always like to test things out if I like it. I keep it. If not, I take it back. So here I have a little Nintendo haul. Got two cases. Got the deluxe traveling case. And I got the, just the one for the Switch. Got three games. You got Mario Party 8, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Skyrim. Two set Joy-Cons. We are going to start with the Joy-Cons first. And then we're going to go into the... Games and cases last. All right, guys, let's get into it. Start with the Joy Cons. We'll start with the basic gray ones. Right here, here we have. I do not have the box for you, sadly. Got a good deal on these, but here we go. You have the gray Nintendo Switch Joy Cons. Honestly, though, they're kind of they're just too plain. Like if you're gonna go all out, get bright ones. Like if you're gonna Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch is known for getting the bright Joy Cons. So that's why I had the blue and red. And then this one down here, we'll get into that a little bit though. Honestly, out of all this, this is gonna be my favorite thing right here. The Reverse Splatoon Joy-Cons. I'm so hyped for these. I got these for a really good deal. I got them brand new for 40 bucks. Can't tell you how I got it, but I got it. I'll see you into it though. So retail packaging is gonna be, um, well not retail packaging, retail price is gonna be 80 bucks. Stuff like that, there you go. Have your bumpers. Another one. The right Joy Con, which is green, and the left one, which is pink. Start with the bumpers, get the boring stuff out the way. And here we go. Just normal bumpers. Just basically, what they do is they just press down. Wrist strap, nothing crazy, just normal bumper. We only really need this other one because it's the same exact thing, so we move out the way. Here we have the Joy Cons itself. Let me get this wrapping off. Here we have the reverse Splatoon Joy-Cons. Bam, these are bright, look at that, wow. We do a comparison compared to the, the green ones, or the, the blue and red. Bam, these are really loud, these are loud. I honestly really love this combination. Honestly, another combination I like are the, um, the blue and the green. And then also, here's a view with the bumpers attached. I'm on real quick. Bam. Lock. For some reason, my pink one's a little sticky. Ugh. Go. So that's how you like to play two players. Bam. I'll do a quick view with uh, the gray ones. Give you guys a look. how they look. Honestly, I think these might look better with the gray straps, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to spend all $8 a look. Here's the gray ones. And then we'll do some color options at the end on the Switch with the Joy-Cons. Alright, next thing we're going to get into is the games. Sorry about that. Here we have Skyrim. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Mario Kart. Honestly, out of all these games, I like these two the most. I don't really like Zelda, honestly. I honestly really don't like this. It's supposed to be the game of the year, but for me, it's just I'd rather play Skyrim than Zelda. Let's get into Mario Kart, though. Here's the front graphics, of course. Hey, I'm sorry, the flash is killing it right now. Just that. There you go. 
and and design focus. Cart, Skyrim, got this for a good deal, only paid 42 bucks, really happy about that. Focus, bam. And here's Zelda. Cases. I'm just gonna pause the video quick, get myself ready for it, and we'll be right back, okay? Alright, guys, here is uh, I got the Nintendo Switch and the small deluxe or the traveling case. Show you how I will use a day to day basis and how I will have mine packed for this scenario. So, here it has the rubber handle, pretty nice, a little bit of like an accent, but it's just really. Uh, I usually hold it like this because if I hold it like this, it's so goofy. I usually just hold it like this. But, um, yeah, let's get into it, show you guys what I have in here. Bam. Here, on the top is going to have a nice little zipper. And then here on Miles, I'm not going to have a lot in here. The only thing I'm going to have in here are the two bumpers. Because that's really about all I can fit in there. With that. And then we move down. The way this switch stays in here, it has a little Velcro tab right there at the bottom that holds it in. Yo, color better. It has a little Velcro tab at the bottom, keeps it in. Unzip it. So bam. Here we have the switch itself. Pull it out. Here's my switch. I do have the tempered glass on it now, finally. You can kind of see it's pretty thick. I really like. Move that layer though. Here underneath, we're gonna have. Two cases for game cards. Honestly, I'm not a fan of this. I would rather just had it either on the top, on the top, or I may take get rid of this pouch here, put the pouch on top with a zipper, and I put the game cards here. Flip it up though. I'm gonna have two of these. The one stack with games, one with not. Open it though. If I get it open one second. Man, there's our paint open. Man. All right, so inside on this one, I have, um, I usually don't carry both, because I only got one set of games in there. But in this one, you're gonna have your, um, you can hold up to four games, or you can do three games, and then two micro SD cards. Show you guys that right here. Those are the two micro SD cards. All right. Honestly, these aren't too secure in here, honestly. For my review of it, they don't really hold too well, especially with the game cards, they fall really easily. This one I got stacked full of the games. So as you see, I just opened it and two games already came out. So the games are gonna look inside here. There we go. It's the best I can do with the flash, guys. I'm sorry about that, but yep, there you go. Right there. And then underneath, you're going to have your cutouts for the bumpers. And then just a set of headphones or something. You can't put the bumpers down here. I already tried. You only do the headphones. All right. So in this case, let's get into the next one. Throw this out the way. On to the next one. For the sake of this video, I do have a friend's Nintendo Switch with me. Thank you, Isaac, for that. I appreciate that. So I'm put mine to the side. Open it. This one's a, this one's huge. This was legit. This is everything, the dock and everything. So it's huge. It's literally about the size of my hand this way, and yeah, it's pretty generous. My house is, I love this case just because of everything I hold. 
right there you go so we open it bam sorry about that but inside here we're gonna have you're able to hold a lot more it's just the way i have is not a good ideal setup but this is how i usually carry it for the most part you could technically sit another grip right there and carry three controllers, but we really don't need a need for six Joy-Cons. We really just four, so this is how I would carry it. Oh, Alright, so on inside, oh, this is heavy. And I have a place here, charging cable, set of grips, a little travel bag, where I put the cases, the HDMI, and the bumper things, dock, and this switch itself. So honestly, it's pretty steady. The only thing I don't like is that the Joy-Cons have a little wiggle room right there, you can see, obviously. So in this pouch, love this pouch, honestly. Open it, Velcro tab. You see on the inside, I got the HDMI, bumpers, and I said uh, the game cards. Close that, and that just sits perfectly right here. Honestly, it doesn't move at all. It sits in there pretty nicely. Next, we're gonna have the, the Joy-Con grip or the Pro Controller. I like putting, I don't really like the Pro Controller, so I use this. So that goes right there. Move that to the side. Here we're gonna have the power cable, of course. Nothing crazy there, just a normal Nintendo Switch power cable. The dock itself. One thing Nintendo could have done for people who had this in like a decent spot, they could have put like the games right there. But as soon as I can tell it could be inconvenient, or they could have put it like right here, like a plastic holder with like a Velcro thing on there or something. I don't know, but yeah, this is the dock. The switch and then of course we have the switch itself which fits in there really good as you see there is two one is my friend shout out to Isaac uses inside though we're gonna have basically perfect cutouts honestly this case is very well constructed and for the price of 40 bucks you honestly can't beat that it fits perfectly goes nice inside as you can see me personally this is how I would want to have it Basically, like for the most part, um, so the grip. I will personally, like in my travel set, I will have a set of everything like this and just put it to the side. When I need to go, I'm just gonna drop my switch in and then my set of Joy Cons, zip it up and go. Honestly, that's I feel like it's the best way just because you don't have to go behind your TV and everything and unplug all that crap. It's just easier if you got a second set on hand for traveling. And with that, guys, um, that's everything right now. I'm just going to do a B-roll with the different set of Joy-Cons, different combinations you can have. I might not go through all of them because there are a decent amount because I have six controllers. But let's get into that. Okay, guys? Okay.